Okay, guys, uh, we're here uh, doing lesson of the week. Um, uh, thank you very much for following us. I'm going to use uh, Kevin right now. And um, this is kind of a, a situation like I've always said from week to week. We have punches, we have punches, we have kicks. Any way a guy can attack you is how we safely want to train against that. Now, these are situations that just happen all the time. You're trying to, a uh, guy caught you off guard or whatever, and he's just crowding your space and, and you, you, didn't, you didn't hit him. You haven't hit him yet. But you know he's not backing down. He's just, he's just in you, he's in you, he's in you, right? So these are uncomfortable situations. If I'm angry and I push him back, I'm gonna have to deal with that. But what I did was I let him know, hey, I'm ready to fight and now we're gonna go square to square, which sometimes you have to do. But if you can prevent that, it would be better to hit him while he's thinking he's all that, okay? It'd be way better to attack a guy acting like you don't know anything than it is to push him and square off like this. Now you guys are more equal. So we're gonna go slow on this lesson. A guy's crowding you. First of all, don't have your feet like this. I'm either this way or I'm this way, all right? I'm always gonna shield myself a little bit. To be honest with you, if a guy's this close, I'm already hitting him. That's just the way we are trained to go, all right? So, guys crowd me out here. I'm gonna double palm them into the ears. Now that's very dangerous, even in your training. So a great way to practice that is as a guy's crowding you, is to hit them in the shoulders. Don't hit the front, hit behind. And that's exactly where you're gonna go to the ears. You're gonna double palm the ears, break those eardrums. You are gonna stun the heck out of this guy. So, from, from this double palm, ah, I palm him right here. Now I'm going to seize this guy. Deck, I'm going to knee him. Boom, I might knee him again. Oh, he has hair. I'm going to grab that hair. I can either drop an elbow. I can throw a right cross. I can put my fingers in his eyes. But right now, from this knee, I'm going to grab the front of his hair, and I'm going to drop an elbow. <laughs> drop an elbow, follow up. You see a guy right there, and you heard him, and he's still wanting to fight. Kick him right in the crotch. You can take off, or you can finish him up, okay? Again, you're in this type of situation, you know, you, all of a sudden the guy's just crowding, hey man, I don't want to get in a fight, hey, I'm sorry, right? Ha! Double palm here, grab him. Yeah! Knee here, ha! Elbow, follow up. Another thing you could do from these type of, uh, this basic lesson is you could do this off of a punch, you could practice the same move. But as someone's crowding you, you're here, as you strike him, you have him here. You might knee him once. You might knee him twice. You could also drop your weight down. Take him here. Follow up here. Hammer here. So it's also a great opportunity to take your opponent down. So he's, he's in your space here. Now, here. Dak! Dak! Here. I take him down. Here. Ha! Follow up. Good job, Kevin. So that's a very basic, fundamental move. Again, as you're learning this, working this, go slow, be careful, and thank you so much for following our lessons of the week. Hi guys, this is Dave Hopkins from Dave Hopkins Kung Fu Sansu of Riverside. Uh, thank you very much for watching our lessons of the week. You could tune in to uh, our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, follow us right there. Again, thank you so much for watching the lessons of the week.